So Chris Christie has dropped out of the Republican primary. It's not surprising. He was doing very poorly. And really, how much did it seem like he was running for president rather than just there to attack Trump for establishment forces? But in any case, he's dropped out, but that's not all. He's also been caught on a hot mic. He said that Nikki Haley is going to get smoked and that DeSantis is apparently petrified over Iowa. Well, going to get smoked, that's not a big surprise. I mean, everybody's going to get smoked. Trump is way in the lead. But we'll get to the polls in a second. But let's just listen to this audio first. But they don't want to hear it. Right. And, and there's, you know, we couldn't have been any clearer. Right. We couldn't have been any more, any more direct or worked any harder. So, you know. Yeah. Well, when you give land to China and places like that. Yeah, that's what you get. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, she spent 68 million so far, just on TV. Spent 68 million so far, 59 million by DeSantis, and we spent 12. I mean, who's punching above their weight and who's getting a return on their investment, you know? And she's going to get smoked. And you and I both know it. She's not up to this. Yeah. She's still 20 points behind Trump in New Hampshire, right? Yeah. And, oh, yeah. And he's going to—he's still going to carry out, right? Yes. Oh, he's—I t- you know, I talked to De- DeSantis called me, petrified that I would. He's probably getting out after Iowa. Well, he- so I mean, there's nothing really very surprising there. I didn't know that Nikki Haley had spent 68 million dollars just on TV. That's an enormous amount of money, and um, yeah, she is going to get smoked. Let's take a look at the polls. Here we have the national polls. You've got Trump at 61.3%. DeSantis is the next one down, 12.5%. And that is really a story. They need to make a movie about that. I mean, he started out like 35. You can see DeSantis, just it just got worse and worse and worse. And I have to say, what a downfall. Because, I mean, DeSantis, I think everybody agrees. He did a pretty great job. He's done a pretty great job in Florida. And he really stuck his neck out during COVID and he had to take all the slings and arrows of the media and calling him a dictator. And they really went after him hard because they thought he was going to be new Trump. And I think that he thought he was going to be new Trump. But as you can say, just through bad campaigning, bad campaign management, um, yeah, he's gone down to 12%. And Trump was going to win the primary the whole time anyway. It doesn't matter. I'm just very surprised by how much his campaign imploded on itself. But in any case, uh, Haley is lower. Nikki Haley is lower, 11.5%. And according to Christie, uh, DeSantis spent $59 million as opposed to her $68 million. So he still got bigger bang for his buck than she did. And then you see Ramaswamy, who I really like. I mean, he's been on fire lately. Have you seen any of those clips? I really don't hear anything not to like about him. I know a lot of people don't trust him. He's so new, but he has absolutely been spitting fire and I've been enjoying it personally. But all that said, I mean, look, Trump's so far ahead, it's insurmountable. Let's go to Iowa. That's on Monday. Trump at 51.8%. DeSantis is the next down at 17.2. Haley's below him again, 16.8. So, you know, everything that we heard from Christie there, I mean, it's not actually surprising. I mean, whether DeSantis is petrified, as Christie put it, I mean, either way, I'm sure he can see the writing on the wall. And so what is this all about? You know, the $68 million from Haley, the $58 million from DeSantis? You know, is it just that, that chance that Trump isn't on the ballot? I think that has to be it. I think he is going to be on the ballot. It looks to me like the the attempts to take him off are going to fail. But I guess, you know... You're telling me there's still a chance, right? But yeah, it sure looks like everybody's going to get smoked by Trump. So it makes you wonder, what what is the point? I mean, $68 million for Haley. I mean, there's nothing like new or appealing to the modern conservative there. I mean, what does she think they want more war? You know, with DeSantis, you know, at least despite his campaign shortcomings, like he's on side with like immigration, crime, anti-woke in the schools, in the schools and out. You know, he's he's not Democrat light. He's not uniparty. Not as far as I can see. If you disagree, tell me in the comments. Maybe I'm wrong. But, you know, $68 million for Nikki Haley, when there is no chance unless Trump is prevented from running, which, again, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. 
I mean, somebody really wants an establishment, an old style establishment a Republican to be the candidate, a Republican who is probably going to just be Democrat light. Same policies, just a, a little bit slower. And it makes me wonder how much campaigning is just an industry in itself. All those millions of dollars are ultimately going to somebody. And what for? I mean, if you just take away, you know, maneuvering behind the scenes, you know, the, the candidate raises their profile and a lot of people ha then have them to thank for making a lot of money. 68 million, that's a lot of money. That's a lot to go around. And you don't need to win. You just pretty much need to exist just to be, you know, the crucial cog in the machinery. Now, to end this off, I guess we have to put in the caveat that um, all predictions about what's going to happen in the primary and in the general election could all get thrown out if something happens to Trump. And I have to say, I, I worry about Trump's health. I think there's a lot of people, Steve Bannon's been talking about this. I worry about him because so far they have thrown literally everything, the kitchen sink at the man to try and get rid of him. And I have to wonder what kind of, you know, say further contingencies that might be considered. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. Please subscribe, like, and share. Sharing really helps me out. I thank you for that. I will see you next time.